10 Facts Everyone Should Know About American Staffordshire Terriers The American Staffordshire Terrier is one of the most misunderstood dog breeds in the country. It suffers from breed stereotypes and has a tenuous reputation that has led to several cities banning the breed altogether. Very often labeled as an aggressive dog bred purely for dogfighting, this gentle-hearted dog is actually quite the opposite in nature. But despite breed-specific legislation, the Amstaff is still a popular dog breed in the United States. Those who treat these dogs with love and respect get to see their true nature as loyal family dogs. 1. American Staffordshire Terriers originate from Great Britain. It's still unknown what exact breeds were used to create the Amstaff, but experts agree that the Bulldog played a big part in their makeup. Other breeds most likely include the extinct White English Terrier and Black and Tan Terrier. Many years ago in Great Britain, there were a variety of different dogs specifically bred for blood sport. This was mostly to satisfy a sick desire of many spectators and have thankfully been outlawed and dogfighting marked as illegal. Not only did the American Staffordshire's reputation suffer due to its sad history, the Mastiff, Pit Bull, Bulldog, and the Bull Terrier are also labeled as aggressive dog breeds. 2. They didn't arrive in the United States until the mid-1800s. Once the breed made it across the pond, Americans started breeding the dogs to make them bigger. Eventually, the American Kennel Club, AKC, recognized the American Staffordshire Terrier as a completely separate breed from the English version the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Luckily, in this day and age, the American Staffordshire is considered to be a more relaxed, fun, and loyal dog compared to its aggressive past. Fun fact, America's most decorated American war dog was an AM staff named Sergeant. Stubby was a K-9 of World War I. He was admired by three different presidents in his lifetime. 3. The breed has a long history of being used in fights. American Staffordshire Terriers combine the strength of the old-style English Bulldog with the energy and fearlessness of the Terrier. They were often used to either fight each other or forced to fight other animals, including bears. 4. They were bred to fight animals, but aggressiveness toward humans was deemed an undesirable trait. Handlers needed to be able to safely control their dogs and were often with them in the ring. For that reason, people bred them to be friendly and loyal toward humans. 5. American Staffordshire Terriers were also bred to be great farmhands. The strong and loyal dogs worked to protect their families and livestock and were also used for hunting. 6. The belief that American Staffordshire Terriers have the ability to lock their jaws is a myth. No dog breed can lock their jaw, this is actually a myth. M. Staffs are simply incredibly strong. 7. American Staffordshire Terriers are often called pit bulls, but that isn't technically accurate. The term pit bull is not an actual dog breed. It's an umbrella phrase used to classify a number of different breeds including American Staffordshire Terrier, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, American Bully, and sometimes the American Bulldog. Many people think that the American Staffordshire Terrier is the same as the American Pit Bull Terrier, but this is incorrect. 8. An AM staff named Bud rode along during America's first cross-country road trip in 1903. Bud went down in history and saw more of the country than most people did back then. 9. American Staffordshire Terriers score exceptionally well on the temperament test run by the American Temperament Test Society. The latest data gives the Amstaff a great score of 85.5%, which is better than the Beagle, German Short-Haired Pointer, Chihuahua, and several other popular breeds. 10. Despite their tough appearance, these dogs don't make good guard dogs. They would be a good partner to have if you need protection from a wild animal, but they're poor watchdogs if you want to keep people off your property. They're too friendly and typically greet strangers like their new friends. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.